Hey yo together and very welcome to this Starcraft 2 Unranked! I would love to go to ladder, but unfortunately currently I'm not really playing too well. I mean, okay, look at the statistics. Awesome, I know. And sure I can't hold it up like that, I know. But currently I'm not really playing consistently enough to feel ready to go into ladder and win a whole lot. Uh, I would love to dump a lot of my a lot of my bonus pool into lettering, but I think I will start this at the weekend this time. Maybe I will stream as well. Uh, we will see. So my win loss currently is really good, but still I'm not doing too well. I got a bit of a flaw against Protoss. I would love to figure out how exactly I have to play against whatever because. Yesterday I played against a fresh GM, Zerg, and he went into Roaches, got 1-1 one, one upgrades, and I was like, okay, let's throw Tydra, 1-1 one, one upgrades on Roaches, yep. And behind that, on his third base, he, he went for a Baneling Nest, he got late speedlings, and a Spire. And then he just crushed me with lots of speed and Banes, and speedlings and Banelings, and a couple of Roaches, because I had no Widow Mines. That's the problem. Widow mines are trash against Roach Hydra, so you don't get those Widow mines against Roach Hydra. <sighs> tanks are okay, but I'm not playing tanks against Roach Hydra. I'm playing full bio, lots of medivates. And it can work very well. If you get a good concave, 3-3 uh, three, three bio Rex Roach Hydra. Sure, there could be Vikings, uh, Vipers, but you can kite out of the blinding cloud and then just take the fight from there. It's fine. You can do this. But yeah, he totally tricked me and I had no clue how to scout it because it was so late. I just didn't know. <sighs> Very difficult and such things and, and like playing against someone who goes for Blink. Blink Protoss against me playing Mag, which can be difficult as well. So yeah, stuff like that. I just want to practice a little bit more to know what to do when. I mean against Terran. I'm doing currently quite okay, although I still need to work on my transition out of my Tejas 111. Because my upgrades, they are quite late, and uh, even though my drops deal a lot of damage, I had a game as well where I wasn't able to win uh, because my opponent just traded so well and defended so well. So that's, that's all about that so far. Okay, so I will, I will try my best here, guys. If I lose against this guy, it would be bad. It would suck, sure, but hey, then he's just good. I myself had to play against high Master League player as well to get into Master League, so that's no big surprise. I'm facing sometimes uh, diamonds who are scratching on Master League because I had to play against top. Top Master League player, top 8 ranked Master League player uh, in order to get promoted to Master League, so yeah, that's all fine if I get a couple of those. But I would love to just play against a lot of Grand Master because I think they are providing me a good, a very good challenge and it gives me a confidence boost, uh, boost to fight against those. So yeah, I would love to fight more Master League uh, GMs than just normal Master League player or even Diamond. So with that said, the timing this time is horrible. As you can see, the worker stacking on this mineral attach never worked for me. If you get the worker stacking done correctly, correct. And look at that, that's so annoying. And I don't know why they keep doing this, but they, they keep doing it. They unstack all the time, which is so annoying. But hey, I can't I can't help them. I can't change that. That's how it is. That's StarCraft 2, buddy. It helps a lot if you get the stacking going on, because normally I should be on 250 at the 2 minutes 50. And now I can barely scratch out the orbital command and the factory. So, I need that one going 
Okay, as long as he isn't annoying with his SUV, uh, I guess I can deal with that. Okay, so I'm fine with that. As this guy won't escape, no chance. Okay, can we get this? Okay, there's the Reaper. So he tries to kill this guy for sure. But I get the kill, which is good. So one is if he miss rallied. Uh, I would love to wall off, but unfortunately... Oh god, look at that. Yep, he will definitely... He has a chance to win this, guys. I'm not playing well, as you can see. This this one thing totally screwed me off. I'm uh, sure I got the kill there, but the Raven will be so late. And so might be the... The Medivax. There we go. So yeah, that's that's basically that. So I will just try my best here. Uh, even though it's looking very grim. But hey, nothing lost. I got the I got the the stupid guy called stupid guy the, the Reaper. I might even get the command center. It is, it is also late, like 10 seconds. That's that's not good at all. And yeah, the tanks are late as well, so not a favorable position for me. So... Okay, so I got that one. And now fast, fast, fast. I need the tanks. Maybe it's not all lost. Maybe I can still deal with that, so... Okay. So I have them spread out a little bit. Stop it. Okay, tank. Medivac. It's a bit late, but not super late. I can still work with that kind of drop, push stuff. I can do it. So, let's let's see how good this is working for me. Okay. So, he scans. That's a good scan. Tells him a lot of stuff. All he needs to know, and now we go with the Viking, uh, with the... Yeah, there we go. And of course the Viking behind that. And... Lift the orbital command. Okay. One mule. I shouldn't throw down this mule to be honest, I really shouldn't. But let's see. Oh, that's perfect. It's a good spot to drop here. Because I can be super annoying here. Yeah, he got a tank himself. Oh, carefully with the marines. Don't lose them. That would be disastrous. So yeah, I can I can deal some damage here. There he goes. Got no Viking himself, which is helping you, so I can be really annoying here. Behind that, of course, the transition. Oh, wait. So, there he goes. Not getting my tank, that's helpful. But I guess I lift the tanks out, ev evac them, get the factory and go for the tank go for the SCVs instead now okay 
So I saved the tank so I can repair them and go in with a follow-up push. So that should definitely help me out. Yeah, I will repair all those guys. Where's the Raven? Ah, it's on full... Okay, that's good. The Raven took no damage at all. That's really helpful there. So, those guys are ready. Idle worker trick. Stim and combat shields. Transfer some guys down there. Get a eBay, get another eBay. Get another stuff there. Produce Medivac. Okay, tank in position, marines in position. Attack there. Another tank would be nice. Scout with the Medivac. There are his tanks, so. Okay. So. Yeah, that's looking good. GG! But this guy was only diamond and I played really bad. But hey, that's fine. Yeah, yeah my APM were bad. Uh, X Master League, okay. Okay, not too, doing too well against Terrence, so. What do we do if we win a game? GG. Graph shows. Oh, look at the army value. Look at the workers active. Okay, not too bad. Alright, that's it with that game. Thank you very much for watching. I will record two more games, I guess. Then my hard disk drive is full loaded with stuff I have to put on YouTube. So, yeah, watch out for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, hopefully, against the Grandmaster. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye!